going, guys? Welcome to our heads. Um, just wanted to talk about this since, uh, you know, kind of g- given what we've talked about so far, gave me inspiration. Uh, so recently, uh, you know, uh, I'm getting older. It's safe to say that we're here in our well within our 30s and 40s. Um, uh, you know, the new generation is starting to take over. Uh, and so, you know, I had a recent experience of learning from my from my juniors. Uh, and that's something I would say is a rare thing for an old dog, right? Um, there, I, I know that you could always learn something new from, from, from different people. But, you know, for the first time in a long time, I learned someone, I learned something new for, from my juniors. Um, basically, uh, try, not trying to be old. I, I've been trying to keep up with the trends. And I learned what Riz is about. Do you guys know what that is? I do, I do, I do. All right, so so for those who don't know, Riz is short for charisma, but that is not how they use that word. They don't say you could say that I have a lot of Riz, but it's but you could also give Riz to, you could Riz up someone, um, but it's usually used to, you know, attract someone else, right? Like to get to hook someone. <laughs> like I was watching this video where he's like, "Sir, you you have terminal Riz." And he goes, oh, no, I don't want to. I want it to be like that. It's like, do you uh, draw, draw a lot of mouse because you're Walt Risney? <laughs> and you see, like, this girl come in, and she's like, oh, how's it going? And then starts flirting with him, and he's, like, talking back to this chick. And he just has so much Riz that, you know, a girl just cheats so on his husband. So it's the new swag. Uh, yeah, in a way. But it's like you know, the, 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 the charisma, the, the aura that you imbue is your race. Yeah, that's what swag was, right? It was the way you carried yourself and your, your character and your yeah. charisma and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, no way. So okay. have you guys, like, has there been a moment in the last uh, few or so in which like a youngin tells you something about the world? Uh, Cause I knew, I knew that surprised me. I had no idea. The thing well, that I still can't get over is cap and no cap. That's oh. what I, I have been you know, a hard time wrapping my head around the, 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 I guess the basis or the where it came from or what it means. I know what it means, but why, you know what I mean? So like if something is cool, that means you're really laid back, you know, you know, overheating, you're not, all worked up you're you're chilling (laughs) you know you're chill so that makes sense you know uh when you say something is um you know hot you know that's on fire it's fire you know that's you know yeah but it's caliente that's when you you put on top of something right so yeah how does that mean true or false you know yeah yeah really yeah i've never that's the first time i've heard of that actually oh (laughs) yeah so So i'm learning a lot of stuff here you gotta say yeah, so, it next time you're at your son's birthday party, or you gotta be like, "No cap here, guys." So okay. cap means. Go right? ahead, go ahead. Cap, cap, no cap means it's false, right? No, <laughs> no, no, cap, no, no cap, cap means, means it's true. It's true. Yes, correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so no cap means it's true. Uh, so, so maybe if you take the cap off of something, you can see inside of it <laughs> to see if it's real. Or not. I have no idea. Uh, well, yeah, I'm off there's, there's a lot of uh, – so I, I, I'm right now looking up. So here's what I understand. There's many, many interpretations of what that is. Uh, I'm, I'm now looking up like the origin of the word, but no one can really agree. All it says is it's a black thing, right? Um, and Sponics. apparently like – some people interpret this, and I'm not sure what the defi- where the definition came from. They say caps like upper limit, so you've capped it. You know that's okay. It. Lied, that makes you know, sense. About it. Yeah. And no uh-huh. cap is like, you know, that's the truth because it ke- keeps on going. No limit. Um, okay, but that doesn't mean true or false. That just means no limit. So that's yeah, a I just mean I don't get it either. Because that would make sense. It. Yeah. So um, if you apply the theoretical framework of cap versus no cap. Well, yeah, so my knowledge of that, yeah, I'm capping hard right now, guys. 
So, <laughs> oh, wow. so like the, some of them are just made up like on fleek. That means nothing. Oh man. Uh, Ratchet. Ratchet. Ratchet so, is it has Ratchet basis. Yeah. 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 I can understand that. That means no, I understand it. That means but, you know, wretched cranked or, up. Yeah, yeah. you ratchet, I mean, you cranked up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, and then I'm, the I'm other a, way, that's a tool to me. I'm a car guy. That's a tool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and then the other one is like um with uh yeet. Oh. Yeah, that's nonsense. <laughs> that's for sure nonsense. When I when I tried to get someone to explain it to me, um and I was in my 20s when I learned about that word. Uh, uh they couldn't even explain it to me. It's like you just do it. You just go, yeah. and I'm like, I don't know what that means, dude. All right, what, I don't know what, what is it's supposed to insinuate. Yeah, yeah. I, I I know what it means, but uh, yeah, like, I, you but know, where does it? Me you know, it. it's like it's it's a made up word. You know, it's not yeah. even a real word. Yeah. yeah. So I thought it has, you can't always, trace it back to it. I always thought the word, you know, the phrase "turned up" was actually a church thing, and then I was kindly reminded <laughs> that it was not. No, it's from uh, <laughs> Lil Lil John. I'm like, well, that no, ma- I'm... that makes sense though. Why not? For why? Because that because that that uh, that phrase comes from you know turn it up 11, or turn right? it down. Yeah, so yeah. that make, yeah, We're makes going sense, eleven. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just still yeah. say that at an actual church uh, function. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah, the praying <laughs> just, uh, just words that are all. So what happens is black people make up a word. Right, and they use it for a long time. Then everybody else gets a hold of it, and then black people stop using it. They move on to something else. And then all the white people use it. Then it trickles on down to the church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, then you have the you know, the pastors that the youth pastors trying to use the words. Right, so it trickles down. Them. By the time it gets to yeah. the church, it's all it's it's, it's dead. Right. Yes. So. Yeah, yep. Yep. Once it becomes religious, oh, it's over. I shouldn't even, yeah. I shouldn't, no, I shouldn't even say youth pastor because my yeah, I, I mean, it's like it's been a while since I'm going first. Yeah, my pastor he used to throw those words out there just to try and like mm-hmm. get Be people cool. like bring people in, make it funny. Mm-hmm. But he would he still use the word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, by the time it gets there, it's 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 done. By the time mm-hmm. we, we you start hearing it on sitcoms, it's 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 dead. It is extinct. It's, it's done. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. done. When you hear it on Friends or something like that, it, That's th- at that point, it's cringy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nobody's saying it anymore. Yeah, so it's dead. You know, you know, uh, like things like cool and you know that's that's hot or like that's tight. I think that's gonna go on for a while. That's gonna. It's oh one yeah, of those cool's been around forever. That, yeah, chill. Yeah, cool, cool. I, I was thinking about like how long, like it, like there's something that brought that thought up to my mind. Like how long would the word cool be? A word that was used like if we were going like say i was frozen or like did some sort of time slip and it's like 100 years <laughs> from really, now you're really cool then <laughs> <laughs> they've now made it into a derogatory term because be yeah like would it still thing. be something or like are they like the like yeah there are words that are basically come out that have gone out of use uh that were trendy at one point but like cool yeah that's been around since like what? groovy yeah yeah uh, yeah like that's been around since the sixties or seventies, maybe. Um, cool, probably before yeah. the fifties. Yeah. Stuff was cool, cool in the fifties. Yeah. Okay. So, like, you know, how much longer will that word be in use? I feel I like that's probably around. the long. Like, yeah, effort. cool and hot will always be yeah. around because they're just they're simple, so yeah. they're not hard to decipher. Right. Um, right. Um, even like the word "okay," that's that's slang. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not a real word. You know, it came from like military, you know, slang or whatever. So, mm-hmm. it, but it's, it's in use. People say it all the time now, you know, it's just part of our vocabulary, you know, okay. Well, it's, it's not an acronym anymore. It's like, let me understand an acronym. It's like, he's got yeah. a little spelling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's one of the words that actually can be used all over the world. And everyone will mm-hmm. know. Yeah. I know what language you speak. Okay. Yep. So, yep. Okay. Uh, is- and this bleeds to like different t- parts of our culture too, like dancing. Um, th- there are some dance moves that li- they they do today that kind of like I don't know. I I like black out because it's like I don't even know why this is a dance. You brought you guys probably haven't heard of this, but you know what doing the gritty is. I am the, fact, the gritty. Um, yeah, doing I, the gritty. I think I my son tries to do it. Do the gritty. Something like that. Uh, so that's like a new dance that that 
people are now trying to, I guess, do TikTok Hassan or, you know, getting sturdy. Doing the streets. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've sturdy. yeah. I've I've seen the sturdy. And and that also doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> but that's that's an old that's just an old dance with a new name. So True, I, yeah, that came from uh, Yeah, that's like yeah. a fifties dance. I was like, that's that's an old dance. You just get it. Gave it a new name. Even, there's actually kids doing the Bootsy Roll, which is a pretty old dance. And and then they renamed it something else, right? Oh, um, is it named something? Probably. It might have a new name now, but I remember because I told him, like, hey, that's a Bootsy Roll. And he was like, what's that? I'm like, <laughs> get right. out of here, old man. Right. <laughs> We're not doing no Bootsy Roll. That, this is the Flim Flipper. <laughs> 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 We're doing the flim flipper. Like, I'm surprised I even knew what the Bootsy Roll was. I just happened to catch on TV one time, and yeah, yeah. Well, the question, Apollo, I have also mastered the the dance you spoke of. Oh, uh, doing the gritty. Mm -hmm. you can I got that. I'll All look right. it up after this. Cause I got to see what it, what dance they stole or took bits and pieces from other dances to make a new dance. Every time I see a new dance, it's like, that's part of the Running Man, that's part of the Roger Rabbit, that's part of this, and they just smash it all together, yeah. So yeah. there's nothing new you could do with your body. So, you know, just start I, you know, dancing upside down. As we get older, I'm grasping on the threads of trying to stay young. And so I just try to listen. I, I try not to emulate uh, until I master it, you know? Wait till your kids start going to school. <laughs> then you will hear words. You're like, oh my God, please stop. Yes. What language is this? Is this English too? Yeah. <laughs> then you will hear Let's words. That's you will be one. very, <laughs> very far removed. So what how how old will you be when you your kids are in middle school, Paula? I would be in my mid forties. And how old will you be, Keith, when your not, not not your youngest, but your middle one is in uh, uh, junior high. Thirty nine. So how many years Actually, is that? I'll be thirty eight. Oh, yeah, thirty eight okay. next year. And your youngest? <laughs> oh goodness! Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be fifty eight. I'll, I'll be. I think I'll be in my. Will I be in my fifties? Oh no. God! I hope not. Oh no! Um, yeah, you ain't like you fifties with it. Well, if I like she when she's ten, oh. I'll be like forty-seven, forty-eight. When she's ten, yeah. Wow, bro, you got a long get out of here, old man. man. <laughs> got a long way to go. <laughs> right? Uh, who brought your granddad to your graduation? Uh -huh. hey, that's my dad. <laughs> Uh, uh huh. Hey. Get out here, daughter, so I can say congratulations. I don't. Look, I don't You're look thirty seven. I don't look halfway to thirty eight right now, do I? No, no give me more Walker. <laughs> <laughs> and let's hear it for Naomi's uh, father. She has a cane. Walk right. <laughs> Hold on, woman. <laughs> But Keith, may you have the coolest cane ever made. Dragon cane, of course. That's right. If you're going to have it, have it in style. How about you guys? Have you heard any words that cause you to pause just because it's something you've never heard before? We'd like to hear more of like the new generation uh, talk or speech in the comments below. We'd like to be educated about that. But otherwise, we'll see you guys on our next drop. Later.